Hi, my name is Logan Paul, and welcome to a new animated cartoon series of mine called Chotch Tales. That's right, I'm the Chotch, these are the tales, these are all 100% true stories that have happened in my life that I can only tell via cartoon. It is a new format, Logan. Gang, so I do want to know what you guys think of it. Comment below, hit that subscribe button, and uh, yeah, enjoy it. This one is uh, my first time making out. Sick. Believe it or not, I was quite shy as a kid. I didn't hang with the boys in my grade because I just didn't get along with them as well as I got along with the girls. And this was about eighth grade, so the time that everyone was going through that awkward puberty stage, the girls were like taller than the boys, every kid named Adam had a mustache, like, oh God, what a time to be alive. Now this was also the time when boys and girls, and sometimes boys and boys, and sometimes even girls and girls would start touching tongues. I thought making out was the weirdest thing ever. I didn't really see what the point was, but the peer pressure to start lip locking with someone was too much for young Logan. Everyone else was making out. Why hadn't I done it yet? And then I realized maybe it's because the girls had all friends on me and they were taller than me and preferred Adam with the mustache. And then they would talk to me about how their makeout session was and I'm listening like, what the fuck? How did I put myself in this position? Well, lucky for me, about halfway through the year, a new girl got transferred to our school. Let's call her Kelly. She was really pretty and super cool and we ended up bonding in study hall because she liked drawing pictures of kitchens and I happened to like looking at pictures of kitchens. It was a match made in heaven. Soon enough we were dating, which in 8th grade doesn't mean anything, but we thought we were in love because we both liked kitchens and I don't know, I guess it's weird saying it out loud now, but it made sense back then. So one day I'm talking to all my girlfriends who had all made friends with Kelly and they popped the question. Logan, when are you gonna make out with her? And in my head, I'm like, oh shit, I forgot about that. Man, this is stupid. I'm nervous. I don't even know how to make out. She's taller than me. And why does our relationship have to be validated by our tongues? But of course I played it cool. I told the girls, uh, tonight at the party, obviously. And they're all like, oh my gosh, we're gonna tell Kelly. I'm like, no, but it was too late. Kelly and I had a make out date at the party that night. Fuck. So I get home and immediately hop on YouTube. How to make out. And for three hours, watch weird adults teach me how to touch tongues with another human being, one of which is actually this video. Arm a little bit, like gently. Oh, it's so fucking weird. Anyways, I get to the party and I'm locked and loaded, basically a make out master. And Kelly is standing there, fresh chapstick on. I'm like, oh, this is it. It's time to be a man, Logan. So I give my battle call. I march right up to Kelly and I say, Hey, uh, can I talk to you upstairs? Sure. <laughs> we march upstairs. My heart is pounding out of my chest, so I give a second battle call, but quietly, into myself. And I say, Kelly! Hey, do we really have to do this right now? And she's like, uh, wait. You don't want to make out with me? No, 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 I, I do. I just, I, I don't want to be pressured to do it. You know, like, we should do it when we're ready. Yeah, but like... We're in love, Logan. But, Kelly, the only real thing we have in common is that we like kitchen. Oh my god, you should just be a baby. Just make out with me. I don't know, Kelly. I, I kind of feel weird. Just do it. No. Just kiss me. Fine. And we start sucking face. I'm using all the skills I learned from the YouTube videos, and I'm not sure like whether I'm supposed to keep my eyes open or closed. And at one point, Kelly and I made direct eye contact, and we're just staring at each other. She's like licking my gums. I'm trying not to choke on my own tongue. And after the most awkward 30 seconds of my life, it was over. Thank God. Wow, that was amazing. Yeah, <laughs> truly remarkable. Kelly goes skipping downstairs, happy as a clam, and I'm left in the garage alone and confused. Next day, the girls rush me like a herd of cattle. <laughs> How was it, Logan? Was it nice? Was she good? And I had to be honest, right? So I just said, uh, I don't know. To be honest, it seemed kind of forced, and I'm not sure I really get the point of making out. What? So she wasn't good? No, no, she was good, I guess. Like, I don't know. What does that even mean? Just leave me alone, please. And all the girls left, and I was once again left alone and confused. One hour later, Kelly finds me in study hall, holds up a picture of a kitchen, rips it in half. So making out with me was 
pointless. What? No, I just was, I, uh, I don't know, Kelly. I just wasn't ready, even though I thought I was due to my hours of YouTube preparation. I'm breaking up with you. I don't love you anymore. I was once again left alone and confused. My heart was broken. Not really, but it still sucked. And for that reason, I did not kiss another girl for two years. Listen, do not rush into relationships. You will end up staring at your crush in the eyes when you're playing tonsil hockey, and you'll be emotionally scarred for the rest of your life. Facts.